You know, when the students first walked into the spaces, their mouth dropped open. We were able to change all 32 line sets, motorize the apron pipe. The alcoves have been redone, new seating, new carpets. We have amazing new blue main curtain now. And that beautiful teak that you can see uh, was buffed up back to its former 1960s glory. Just the quality of the sprung floor, you know, technically, these are the best dance floors in Montreal. We have state-of-the-art facilities now. We're proud of them. The smart classrooms with the electronic uh, outlets and interaction and media facilities. This is a tremendous facility. Space, look, we have nine speakers in here. Acoustics are beautiful, 65 by 35, no columns, no pillars. You're not in a basement like a lot of dance departments. You're on the seventh floor of a building and two of the sides of the studios are glass. So you're looking out over the city. I mean, how much more inspirational can you get? Having facilities downtown uh, facilitates uh, interaction with other departments in the Faculty of Fine Arts. We are now closer together. People are speaking to each other in a way that they couldn't before. With industry, with the community in the urban setting, with other universities and other colleagues. So there's a broader spectrum of offerings that the students have access to in terms of their creative activities, in terms of the infrastructure has to offer to support them in their own creative research. We hand out invitations and exchanges with, with pride now in a way that we just couldn't before. It's just been a great experience to watch the transition. It opens up the minds of the students because they're not thinking about how are they going to function within facilities that can't meet their expectations. They're working in a space that can accommodate their creativity and their ability as artists. It's hard to imagine what we can't do right now with the facilities that we have. It's, it's wonderful.